Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Weighty Kids Walkie Talkies. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this pair of walkie talkies has a maximum range of up to 6 kilometers, or 3.7 miles. And this pair is in red, but it's also available in orange as well. And here are the key features of the walkie talkies. And key features once again. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up the box. So there are two lanyards or a pair of lanyards. Let's go ahead and set them aside first and then we'll take a close-up look once we've removed everything from the box so here's a pair of walkie talkies and they are in red and appears to be an instruction manual as well so let's go ahead and set everything on the tabletop right here Okay, so that's the contents of the box emptied out. Let's first take a look at the operating instructions. And let's spread it open. So there are three sections to the operating instructions for the weighty kids walkie talkie and it also goes by the free talker branding All right there is also a reverse side to the walkie talkie user instructions and just to give you a close-up look to some of the sections. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and fold it up and put it to one side. So put it aside right there. And now we can take a close up look at what I think are lanyards. Okay, so we can attach the walkie talkie to the lanyard. So it's something to secure the walkie talkies onto so you don't constantly have to carry them in your hands. Okay, so two lanyards, green as well as blue. All right, let's set them, set them down and then move on to the walkie talkies. And let's simply remove the bubble wrap packaging from them. Once again, setting them down and making some minor adjustments to the background right there so it's not too distracting. Okay, now we can take a close-up look at the pair of walkie-talkies and they are, of course, in red with also some black to it as well. So you can see the size of them. They are fairly small. And just 
resting them in the palm of my hands. That should give you a fairly good idea of how big they are or how small they actually are. And I'm just going to position one just to the side there and then keeping the other one in the palm of my hand resting on the tabletop right there. So size wise it is really really small and very light as well. It is however fairly thick for its size but it's easy enough for single-handed operation and giving you a close-up look at the controls or buttons to the walkie-talkie and there is also a micro USB socket as well or port in the back and the profile or side view and once again back to the front it does have this really chunky antenna to it and there is a tiny bulb or light at the top of it And I'm just having a look to see if I can pop the kind of catch off, perhaps requires a bit more effort. Or maybe I should read the user manual beforehand, but kind of figured it out. So should you re need to remove the clip at the rear, simply pull up on the catch and the clip does slide up and out. Okay, so there we go, in and out. And now let's take a look at the battery compartment by sliding the battery cover open. So as you can see, it does take three AAA batteries. It's right there, giving you a good look to the back or rear of the weighty kids walkie talkie. All right, so we might as well, actually just before we pop, pop some batteries in, just give you an idea of the actuation of the buttons or controls. So very soft silicone buttons in the front and a clicky button to the side. And I think that's about all the buttons there are available to press. So really lightweight, really, really sturdy as well. Now let's pop some batteries in. So three AAA batteries per walkie talkie or per set. So I do have these Amazon basics pre-charged rechargeable batteries, which I've unboxed a very, very long time ago. And let's pop them in. And pop the battery cover back on. And see if we can turn it on by pressing on the menu power. Perhaps the batteries don't have 
quite enough charge to operate. Okay, so we're back because I had to recharge the AAA batteries because they were quite low on power and uh, obviously I took that chance there. I should have checked them beforehand. Um, I knew they were weak, but I didn't realize that it just wasn't enough battery reserve in them to power the walkie-talkie and you heard that little kind of tone right there. So the walkie-talkie has powered to life. Let's go ahead and press and hold the middle button and see what that does. And it's now turned the weighty kids walkie-talkie off. And let's put the clip back on the walkie-talkie. And now we have a working walkie-talkie. And now let's fit the AAA batteries, freshly charged ones into the other walkie-talkie. So once again, three AAA batteries. So facing down, up, and down. And similar thing, you heard the walkie-talkie power up right there. So it does have a odd or interesting looking red screen or LCD. Let's put the clip on it as well. I kind of accidentally bumped into the left button right there and it might have just done something. Let's see quite what it's doing on the screen by tapping on the button again. So as we went through earlier, there are several buttons on the walkie-talkie and a light as well at the top. So let's try and figure them out. Turn on the other walkie talkie as well so you can see them right now side by side. Pretty, pretty interesting looking, very small, and with the batteries in them, they're still quite light in weight. So, just to give you a side by side view, let's show you just how tiny they are. They are small. Very, very small. So designed as a more of a kid's or children's uh, device or toy. But I can't see how this can't be used by adults as well. So let's see if we can operate it. So let's go. Hello, hello, hello. And right there. Pressing and holding, push the talk button on the side there. Let me test the right hand side. Hello everybody. And obviously you're meant to say over, but I'm not here speaking to myself. No problems there. Okay, I'll push that. Testing, 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 testing. Just like that. Very simple operation. Could be just interference being side by side. So pressing and holding on the push to talk button on the side. Let's bring the volume right down. So volume adjustment. With the down and the up arrows. So pushing on the top button with the valve symbol does operate the torch. So it is a LED torch. Pretty, pretty handy thing to have. Especially when you're using the walkie talkies at night or camping out in the field. And if you need to kind of communicate or just show yourself to your walkie-talkie partner, or if you know Morse code, but that's completely uh, silly, given that you can push the talk unless you try to go covert and quiet. So very, very simple device, push the talk on the side, light, 
and the volume. And it does scan the channels as well. So, dual functionality there. Obviously, a thorough read of the instruction manuals is always advised, which I haven't done. Just pressing and holding there. So, apologies for the noises, but just doing a kind of quick test around the kind of functionality and buttons of the walkie talkie. So, let's push the talk again with the right hand side. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. So nothing's come through, but obviously they are working on different channels right now, possibly because of me pressing around uh, pretty randomly at the buttons. So let's try the left hand side as well. So try testing, testing. Okay, so that's coming through. And now let's test the right hand side one. Hello, hello. There we go. So it pretty much sorts itself out as far as I can tell. No need for any kind of um, configuration. Works straight out the box with batteries inside. Push to talk on the side buttons. So pressing and holding, of course. And once again, giving you a look the walkie talkies just like that pretty pretty simple straightforward design and it's again messing around with the buttons again there we go it's probably just scanning not entirely sure so excuse my misinformation if I do get it wrong because I'm just working randomly the buttons without having read the instructions or the user guide. But let's give it one more test again. So I've bumped into, as you've seen, buttons randomly, and let's see if it still works. Testing, testing, and there we go. So there's no need to reconfigure as far as this video demonstration is concerned. Hello, hello. And nice and simple, easy operation, fuss free, completely user friendly as you just seen with my kind of random usage without any kind of background uh, studies as to how they actually work. So no research done whatsoever. Yet if I can operate it, even a child can. Or should it be the other way around? Who knows? Who cares? But there we go, walkie talkie. So simple to use. Three AAA batteries required for each handset. They are nice, lightweight, and sturdy enough. With a decent size LCD screen with backlighting as well. So pretty. Pretty, pretty simple to operate. So it's scanning the channels. I did say it was volume earlier. It felt that the volume adjustment, or if there was any, the volume appeared to go down, but that might just be coincidental. Who knows? Okay, so a nice thorough view, unboxing, close-up look, and quick test of the walkie-talkie. Obviously, no range tested here. Just a quick power on and activation. So that's the weighty kids walkie-talkies. Thanks for watching and happy walking and talking.